Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be unclogging a tub drain and some sink drain. So I'm just gonna give you guys um, a little insight on how that looks, what to do. Very simple process, but a lot of you guys struggle with this at home. You don't know what to do. So we're gonna dissect it, break it down and get to it. Let's go. Okay, so we're at the property. We got a master bathtub that isn't draining correctly. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to save between two to $300 by doing this plumbing repair job with just these three tools. That's it. Vinny the handyman is gonna show you. And so anyhow, you get a lot of hair and toothpaste buildup and that's kind of like what clogs these up. So that's gonna be my first guess. Um, it's not always the P-trap underneath. And what I mean by P-trap is this. So the clog usually gets right in here where you have your stopper on the back side. So this one doesn't have a stopper, but that's usually where it's at. So if you're at home and you have a clogged sink, you're gonna have to take the stopper out on the back side and then pull it, pull this out, and then you'll see all the gunk that's in it. So let's test the water before we start messing with everything. And while I'm doing that, I'll test this one. So this one drains a little slower, so that's not good. This one's not too bad, it's probably got a minor clog in it. So the major one is in here. So we're gonna put on our rubber gloves and figure this out. go all right so this I just unscrewed and all that gunk was in there I know it's gross but this is reality this happens all the time and now I'm just running water just to make sure the p-trap drains correctly and the P-trap is draining just fine. So now I'm gonna clean all this off, put it right back in. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other sink. I probably don't need to film it, so we'll just do this one. So just get a bag and pull it off. All right, so we're gonna rinse this off. Most people think you gotta destroy the plumbing underneath and take off the P-trap and all that, and that's not the case, especially with uh, bathroom sinks. So do this first before you start dismantling everything and causing more problems. And then to get rid of the smell, you just pour bleach down the sink. Okay, it's nice and tight. And that's it. So job complete on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump scenes really fast. Um, if you guys have the pull handle, that does this. Okay, this one's gonna be a little different. You have to go under the sink to pull this out. Okay, so first you're gonna remove this clamp that's right here. So you just wanna back this out. Okay. 
you'll lose this clamp. You're going to need it again. Now you're going to unscrew this. Okay, so by taking this apart, it allows you to remove the stopper. Okay. Let's see if there's any gunk down there. Then you want to clean that out. Okay, so once you've cleaned it out, now you want to put your stopper back in place. All right. Okay, so now we're going to put this back. clip I was telling you about. Now you gotta put one side in first and then the other. Okay so when you're done that's how it's gonna look. It's all finished. Okay so now you have two examples. You have one with the stopper and then one with the twist on. Now let's go to the tub video. Okay so for your bathtub you just want to unscrew this top piece here. All right. Now, normally these have a little notched edge for a flathead screwdriver and you would put it right here and then back it out. This one's a little different, so you gotta use your channel locks again and loosen it. See again, tons of gunk in there. So now we're going to use a flathead screwdriver and just pry it out. Say that again. Okay. And then, and then uh, I have a half an hour with him, so I'll pay you uh, before you leave. Okay. Um, you could do a uh, check if it's easier. Okay. You're welcome, bro. Okay, everything looks a lot cleaner now. So now we can run some water down there. It'll be perfect. So now I gotta get rid of this. So that's why I always have like a bag next to me. And that way you can just grab the gunk without touching it and then uh, wrap it up. Okay, so now we're gonna put this back together. So now we've cleaned it out, looks good. Again, you could throw bleach down there just to get rid of that smell. Tighten this down. Okay, it's nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to get out of the tub because we're going to run the water to test it. And she is good to go, boys. Alright, so fixing this and that sink 
if you were to call a plumber out, that probably would have been a $90 um, trip charge plus $100 an hour. You know, you, this bill would have been $300, $250, um, $300. So just a quick fix to save yourself a few dollars, especially, you know, with inflation right now. And you could buy some extra food because you save money by watching Vinny the Handyman. So another money saving tip, although we do love our plumbers out there, we don't want them to lose work, but sometimes you have to be able to bail yourself out of the situation if you don't have the money. So that's what this is about. Saving the money so that way you guys have money for other things later and you can survive. All right, with that said, Vinny the Handyman signing out.